is K7 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add Gaussian Blur to any project that you may be uh, want, wanting to fulfill within Sony Vegas. Now this is a pretty simple tutorial as long as you follow these steps but it doesn't hurt if you have questions. If you have questions just leave them in the comments. But without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. The first thing you're going to want and need is you're going to need a picture or some type of video that you want to add effect to. So once you've obtained that or whatever you want to use, just drag and drop it down into your timeline. And as you can see, I'm using the Aston Martin that I was using in the intro that you saw the blur. Now, in order to add the Gaussian blur, you want to go over to Video FX and select Gaussian blur, like so. Once you've selected Gaussian Blur, you will see an option here for different types of blur that you can add to your project. Yeah, there's normal blur, blur there's default, there's, uh, there's maximum blur, extreme blur, there's all types of blurs here, medium blur, soft blur, there's all types of options you can choose from. Uh, so whatever you may want to use, you may do so. But for this example, I will be using the default blur so I'm just going to add it onto my project okay once you drag and drop the type of blur that you want to use onto your project what you then want to do is as you can see a box showed up here so within this box, you're going to get two little um, switches. You can move and adjust uh, or whatnot. This will be your blur adjustment levels. Here, you can select how much blur you want um, to affect your project. So say you want little blur to very uh, much blur or no blur at all. You can do that here. So let's just use for this example, we want to have the the picture be clear first and then go into a blur now there's going to have to be a little bit of keyframing um involvement here but don't worry it can get a little intimidating but if you follow these steps you can uh do so so i'll just show you guys how to do this it's pretty simple just follow these instructions so what you first want to do is you want for this example since we're going to make it clear we're going to move the little timeline bars here up at the top we're going to we're going to drag them to zero we're going to drag both bars to zero and as you can see i dragged to zero and i clicked the little clock down at the end once you make your um adjustments of how much blur you want or no blur at all or very little you click the little clock down at the bottom i mean at the end of the of the adjustment layers so you you click that little clock at the end of those adjustment switches and then you will get your keyframe adjustment layer uh timeline so what what this is is you get to adjust how you want your blur to affect your project where you want it and what time placement you want it within whatever project you may be working on so okay we wanted it to start with no blur and then eventually go into a blur so the timeline will create its own keyframe depending on your adjustments so just keep that in mind so i'll use this as an example i'll show you how this works so we want 
from a clear to um, an eventual blurred. So okay, I'm going to make my adjustments and you will see how it's done. And hopefully from this, um, you you won't have any questions. But like I said, if you have any questions, just uh, drop a line in the comments. I'll get uh, I'll get to you when I can. And um, and yeah, I'll, I'll answer them to the best of my ability as well. So okay, I'm going to show you guys how how to uh, add the new layer, the new keyframe, in order to get the blur effect to happen. Now, as you can see, if I play this, it will slowly go into a blur and then it's going to fade out. And it looks pretty cool. I had uh, the little intro moving in, in the beginning, but as you can see, that's pretty cool. And you can add whatever effects that you would like onto your um, project by following these simple steps. So just keep in mind that your keyframing take a little perfection in order to get exactly what you want out of your project. So just pay attention to your keyframe and your timeline and where you want your keyframes or in this case your blur keyframes to affect your video. Make sure that they're in the proper place um, within your timeline because if they are not you will not see the changes in your video timeline or your picture timeline or whatever you may be using well that's pretty much it like i said once again i hope this video wasn't too confusing for all of you like i said if it was too confusing just drop a comment down in section and i'll do the best that i can to uh, answer any questions that you may have uh, just drop those lines and I'll, I'll get back to you but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you like videos like these leave a comment share and favorite and subscribe for more videos like these but until next time this has been k7 peace and god bless you all have a good one